episode because we fornicated after. But Baby! That's too much info. How? I also said fornicated. I, I could have said we had vicious sex, but I didn't. Or rough, <gasps> not vicious. My virgin ears have to listen to your podcast <laughs> and listen to you guys talk about that. I get to say what happened. <laughs> subscribe button down below become part of it before you go whoa son hello how are you if you guys have been keeping up with my recent videos Zane and I went to a sushi class and we got some stuff in the mail from a company that sent us stuff we're gonna try it out I tried it out once a few years ago and I didn't know what the hell I was doing didn't really follow many recipes and it was just awful the only thing that I am worried about is to make a really good roll you need a really nice sharp knife to cut that roll and we don't have that so it's gonna be a little bit challenging to do that part, but we are going to be making, um, for me, I'm going to have avocado and crab sticks, and then Zane can't have the crab sticks because he's allergic to white fish. It's like fake crab sticks. So he is going to have some salmon. So we are heading to, where are we going? ShopRite? We're going to ShopRite. ShopRite, because that's where our sushi instructor said that we can get the salmon for Zane. There's also another place on the island called H Mart, which is like an Asian mart for like the fish and stuff. So if they don't have it here, we're gonna have to go to that place. I also need some supplies because on Saturday, we're having my parents over for breakfast because they haven't had our Taco Bell breakfast quesadillas that we make yet. So I'm really excited to make that for them. And we always like brag about our cooking to my parents, but we never really have cooked for them that much, only like a handful of times. So I've been trying to invite them over more and make some dishes for them because I'm not gonna lie like we're pretty good babe we're getting really good actually I know I'm like proud of us so we yeah, need to share too. we need to share, share the our talent <laughs> so with all that being said we need to get the rice we need to get the rice vinegar I think that's all that we need for the sushi rolls and then just some like tortillas for our breakfast on Saturday so let's go to the grocery store and fail they did not have it but that's okay we're gonna go to that place that i told you guys about it'll be cooler anyway we can experience like a different different place different food market to go shop at i'm pumped wow you guys it's actually like a giant grocery store i thought it was gonna be like a little standalone little mini place it looks like trader joe's wow this is nice holy guacamole super nice all right baby we're in fish heaven Choose your, choose your winner. Oh my god, I'm freezing. Like, go to the butcher yeah, like fresh. Grade, yeah. Oh my god, shark. The shark. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know they had that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm freezing. It is so windy today, you guys, and cold. And now being in here is even like colder. Whoa, 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 whoa. Salmon sashimi. <gasps> Salmon right sashimi. Perfect. Little thing of it. Perfect serving oh size. Do you want an octopus leg? Yeah. I love octopus. <laughs> you can eat a conch shell? What's in a conch shell? Yeah, Isn't that from Spongebob? SpongeBob <laughs> what do you eat in there? Is it like a mussel? That's so cool. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. This is so fun. It feels like we're not on Long Island. I know, this is cool. Yeah, it's super cool. It feels like we're like, I don't know, somewhere else. Alright, well, we got the fish. Now we just need rice vinegar and rice. Oh my god, there's like so many things that like we haven't eaten in this world. So cool. Isn't that crazy? Like all these sauces? I was just gonna say that. If you want to travel. Yeah, me too. I talked about going to Tokyo. Yeah, let's go to Tokyo, dude. Mao. Rice vinegar. Oh, what kind? There's so many different ones. Sushi. Oh, no, wait. Let's get the sushi vinegar so that it's already pre done, right? I saw that online. So, this is just a vinegar, a rice okay, vinegar. Look, this is for sushi rice. Drizzle a quarter cup vinegar over six cups hot cooked rice, gently full to mix. Oh, it has sugar this and salt in it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Vinegar, sugar, salt. Oh, seasoned rice vinegar. Mm -hmm. So that's done. So we don't have to mix sugar and salt in it. Yeah. Done. Put it in the cart. Now yeah. the rice. Oh yeah, the rice is so good. Yeah. I really don't want to sound like uncultured, but this is like one of the coolest stores I've ever been to. I think it's just fun to see something new and exciting. It makes me feel like I'm traveling, but like we're not. This is only like 20 minutes from home. Is this all ramen? Oh my God, look at all these types of ramen. Holy guac, baby, let's get you the extra, extra spicy one. Asian cuisine has some of the like spiciest things ever. Yeah. Like, 
I can't handle that much spice. Really? It's spicy. Yeah. All these different canned items. What is this? This is just so awesome. Oh, rice. There we go. Yeah. This is there we go. We went down another aisle and it said like organic sushi rice. And I was like, this is like not the right rice. We found the right rice. Buy it at Big Bulk. It's like a Home Depot for rice. Literally. <laughs> Literally. I just saw one that said 85 bucks for like. No way. Yeah, like $83 for 50 pounds of rice. Holy guag. That must be a really nice rice. All right, we don't need this much. Where's the smaller bags? Okay, get smaller. Wow, this is like probably for like restaurants and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like this because now I'm in like a major mood for sushi. I know now. Now I'm like really in the mood to have sushi, so I'm excited to try and make it. So we found these. We're gonna try them out. They're dried noodles, 130 calories for one piece of them. This could be cool to mix with like some veggies and meat for like a dinner. We found it. Sushi rice, right here. 3.99. Check it out too. We can get everything done at once. We need the tortillas for. Saturday. These are Zayn and I's new favorite thing. They're 110 calories and they taste like regular tortillas. Do they not? Usually so he's like good. not for yeah, the whole week. That, yeah, so but they're actually really good. And we just ran out, so we're gonna grab those. And then they also have mini ones for our Taco Bell things. 70 calories each. Amazing. Last minute before we check out, I found these 100 calorie bags, grabbed our mayo, and then we also grabbed some white wine vinegar because I've been seeing a lot of recipes with it, so it's good to have. And then we got the rice, and that's about it. Got everything. Good job. I love this place. I want to come back. I know. It's really cool. It's really cool. No, I would prefer for you to stay alive. All right, to make sushi, first things first, we put a cup of rice in the pan, add a cup and a quarter of water, bring to a boil over high heat. People say to wash the rice. Do we have to do that? Is that what this right? No, just has to cook it. I think I think you wash rice when it comes in those giant, giant bags like straw bags. Yeah, does this say pre-washed? Yo, what are those bags when you used to do in the field? Like day? potato like, sack. Yeah, like those sacks. When rice comes in a sack? I don't think you have to wash this. I think it looks pretty clean to me. You're boiling it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. One cup of rice. Two shots of vodka. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Going downhill, oh geez. One cup of rice in. One and one quarter cup of water. One cup, one quarter cup. Stir her on up. We're gonna bring it to a boil and then we're gonna cover it and we're gonna simmer it for 25 minutes. All right, now that we've got the rice in the pot, another crucial part of making sushi is the bamboo mat so that we can get the perfect roll. However, um, we're gonna wrap it in plastic wrap because we don't want any rice getting all stuck up in the little crevices, you know? So let's wrap her in plastic wrap. Never done this before. Maybe I should look it up or we just wing it as always. Oh no, we need a big piece, right? Okay, it wants to like wrap around nicely. Okay. Here we go. Which way should I do it? This way. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold in the edges and then we fold her this way. All right, not too shabby for the first time. Probably should be a little tighter, but it's good enough. At least it won't get dirty. All right, the rice is about like two minutes until done. We've got everything set up here. This is where I'm going to make the roll and then we'll like shape it with this. That's how we learned it at the class. Got the seaweed, the soy sauce, and the little bowls over here. And then we're gonna mix the rice with the rice vinegar. This says a quarter cup for six cups of rice and we have two cups of rice there. So I guess that means only a tablespoon. We're gonna do a tablespoon and see how that pans out because there's four tablespoons in a quarter cup. Quick math. Got our little chopsticks and I'm going to use avocado. Let me get the meat out. I'm going to be using these crab sticks. It's like imitation crab meat. And Zane is going to have the salmon sashimi that we got at H Mart. I'm putting my crab with avocado. I'm pumped. Here is my finished rice. I'm pretty happy with it. It's nice and fluffy, cooked well. We're going to add in the vinegar and hope for the best. This stuff smells super strong, so we're going to start with a tablespoon. According to the math, if this is two cups of rice, it should be a little bit more than a tablespoon. 
but I'm gonna start with one. The consistency is good, but I don't think it's, it's quite sticky enough yet, so we're gonna do another half a tablespoon. I think that should be plenty. So from what we learned from the class is you wanna be able to pick up the rice and be able to spread it kind of like it's super sticky onto the piece of seaweed. So I'm gonna pick it up, it's like hot, that's why I wanna use a glove so I don't wanna get my hands all dirty. This looks kinda of sticky, I just don't know if it's sticky enough and I don't think I will be able to tell unless I pick it up in my hands and see if it feels like the rice that he made at the class. It's actually looking pretty sticky right now, let's see. So you can see in my hand that it's kind of like forming. So I do think that it is sticky enough. Feels super sticky at least. I just picked it up with my bare hand and it's definitely sticky. So we're gonna rock with it. I followed the directions on the bottle, so we should be fine. Before we go ahead and move on, we need to make these sheets into half sheets otherwise it's just way too much seaweed for a roll and seaweed has a shiny side and a rough side can't really tell on camera but we want the rough side down and then the shiny side is where we're gonna put our rice i'm gonna use a pizza cutter to cut these in half because i just feel like a knife is gonna be a hot mess is that working hmm, that's not working maybe if i just fold it in half worked. Probably wasn't the right way to do it, but it worked. All right, I'm going to set up the island super cute with two stations for us to make it. Zane's inside working, but he told me to call him out when we're ready to roll, so let's make it all cute and see how he likes it. <laughs> use it has a sharpener in it and before I went ahead and like sharpened it a little bit so hopefully she's sharp enough why is this not straight what's going on all righty Bella hey mama what are you doing that's my salmon I made you station this is cute I fucks with this so what are we doing here I don't know I have headphone here how funny ha 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 I don't know if you want to I mean how sticky is rice it's pretty sticky you did good yeah I would wear a glove, yeah. I'm gonna prep my ingredients first so that once the rice is on, I can just put them on. The knife feels pretty sharp. Yeah? Yeah. Sharpening at work? I think so. Oh, look at this, babe. Nice and sticky, right? Wait, you know it's supposed to cool, right, you said? It is. At room temperature? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It's be warm. I mean, it's... So she's not usually hot, though, you know? It's warm. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna let it cool. I don't know. It's nice and sticky, right? Yeah, it's I awesome. I didn't do a bad job. Did you just use that vinegar and that's it or something Yeah, else? no, that's it. Oh, that's so easy. I could put it on a plate so that it cools. It's in the hot pot. Do you want to let, I mean, that's just how it's supposed to I be. I mean, cut up your salmon first. I'm going to open my avocado. Her up. So cool. I know, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm not good at this avocado thing though. Zane bought me this amazing avocado tool. You open it with this, get the pit out with this, and then slice it with this. But we get mini avocados, so this is a little too big. But just for the purpose of getting the slices, we're gonna use it. A little difficult, it's so small. That's what she said, but it works. Not supposed to smell fishy, he said. Tiny bit, but I think all salmon's a little fishy. No, it smells good. I mean, it's fishy, but it's fish. I think it's the vinegar I'm smelling. Yeah, probably, it's super strong. I can't see anything from this angle. We gotta get like an overhead cam. Or I should just get the tripod, huh? have these tools, I just need to use them. I just noticed I'm cutting this the complete wrong way. Remember he said there's like an art to cutting fish in like a certain way, but I'm making it for myself and I don't care how it's That's shaped. Fine. Well, are you putting it in seaweed or not? I, I think I'm getting jiggy with the idea of just rice and salmon. Like those maki, not maki sashimi. rolls. Sashimi. No, sashimi is just so a sushi. So then it's just sushi. Yeah, I guess it's traditional sushi, I'm not sure. Yeah, I might just have sashimi. This is it, this is my dinner. That's it. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm putting you on a tripod so you can see better. There we go, guys. Cool. Now you can see what we're doing. That's so boring. You should make a roll. We have all the stuff. No, I don't think I want to. Okay. Fine. I just want to use some rice. You. I, you know those, um, here, I want to look up what they're called, those other rolls. Yeah, I think it's just Cause called Because like the things. ones wrapped up in seaweed with the seaweed on the inside is a maki roll. Mm. Yeah, no, it's nigiri. It's nigiri. I hope that's how you say it. But that's what I want. I'm so excited. I'm kind of want to just use the warm rice. Did he really say that? It's, war it's room temperature now. It says it in the sheet too. Shiny side up, right? Or shiny side down? Shiny side down? 
Shiny side down. All right, it's going on. I really didn't like using the glove on this part because then it just gets like all stuck. Oh my God, I made sticky rice though. Baby, it's awesome. Look at you go, baby. The rice has to be touching the edge of the seaweed because that's how it glues together. Oh my God, I did it! This looks pretty freaking good. Look at that, you guys. Now we flip her over. And then we fill it. Let me do the rice on the other one first. <laughs> they also taught us at the class that they usually use about 100, is that what he said, 100 grams? Yeah, like around a fistful. Yeah, a fistful of rice. So we're measuring it. This is like 96 grams, which is like more than enough. Our seaweed pieces are a little bit small. And then you just spread it out on here. Doing it a little less professional than him, but that's okay. <laughs> is that all the salmon? Yeah. Oh. Now I know why sashimi is so expensive. Making it myself, it was $8. Yeah. That's why restaurants hurt so much. Yeah. Remember we told us in the class if the fish is like around twenty to twenty five dollars a pound, it's good quality. Yeah, that That's one was said. like twenty two. Yeah, right? it says unit price twenty three dollars a pound. Yeah. Damn. And you got eight dollars worth. That's expensive. Yeah, I only got I got a little bit more than a quarter pound. It says twenty three dollars a pound. Oh my That's goodness. That's expensive. Some good stuff. I am fucking excited. This is so cool. I know, we've never made sushi at home. One thing that we learned at the class was to put like the avocado at the bottom so that it's not so mushy at the top because then it'll be really hard to roll. So we're gonna start with the avocado right in the middle and then I'm putting a full stick of crab. Now the hard part, now we roll. Sorry this isn't interesting to some of you guys but I'm real excited about this. I've never made sushi at home. rice is gonna stick. Oh, the rice sticks to the, su the seaweed, not the actual rice. Okay. I just did it. Let me go. Let's just roll both of them and then we're gonna use the bamboo mat to shape them. What, babe? What? Oh, babe, look at that. That's sick. Yo, that cooking class paid off. Really fun, too. Yeah, but we should do different, like, types of food. You can learn a lot. I've always wanted to make sushi from home and I just never like took the time to learn how. Now I did it. All right, now the hard part is we cut. You start with one in the middle. You start kind of going down this way to break through the seaweed and back down. Woo! I'm so proud of myself! Tastes like a sushi restaurant. I'm just saying, if that was packaged in one of those little black plastic containers, I'd believe it. Really? I have to make a confession. What? Because I'm not so good with chopsticks, it is very hard to use, so I'm just gonna use my hands. Okay. There we go, look at that. Crab and avocado, look at that. Look at you go, baby. Oh my god, I proud of you. that. Yeah, baby. That is so freaking good. Are you proud of me? I went to the store, got salmon, and just caught it, and that's it. I'm so proud of you. That's all I did. Does it taste like like restaurant sashimi? Mm -hmm. Like when we go to um, our restaurant, which is like that. I'm so happy. Well, you guys, as usual, Zane scarfed his down it's way quicker than I can even eat. So I'm gonna enjoy. He's gonna go work some more, and I'm gonna watch the finale. I think it's the finale of Love Is Blind. I'm excited. It's the weddings. Ooh! Okay, so if you knew who my favorite couple was on that show, safe to say I'm very disappointed. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but I am very disappointed, but it's fine. I also was still hungry, so I made a third sushi roll, and I learned two things. One, you can cut seaweed with a scissor way easier. And two, if you use the bamboo mat, to hold the sushi while you're cutting it, it's way easier too, and you won't get all sticky rice all over your hand, you know? But I was going to, I know this sounds childish, but I was gonna play Animal Crossing because it's something that I played as a kid, and there's a new one coming out, and I read it wrong on social media. I thought there was a beta coming out today. Turns out it was at like a college in Massachusetts, so 
I got really excited for nothing. It doesn't come out until March 20th. So that's a little disappointing, but we're heading out now. If you didn't know, Zane actually plays tennis. He grew up playing tennis. His dad owns a tennis club. If you guys are on near Long Beach on Long Island, that's his dad's tennis club. So if you guys want to check it out, go ahead. But Zane is actually playing tonight. Like for realsies, like not just for fun, for realsies. So we're gonna go to the tennis club and enjoy our night and watch him play. So you guys ready to see Zane play some tennis? You better show up for them. Uh oh. Pressure's on, pressure's on. No, you play when you go work there. No baby, when I play, I like fill in and I'm playing with like beginners. Oh, so now I'm you're like, like competitive. Yeah, like I'm playing with people that are better than me now, so. Ooh. Yeah. You ready, baby? Oh, I'm ready. You nervous? Yeah. No. Also, baby. You, when was the last time you played, like, played, played? It's been a very long time. Like, competitively. But also, baby, I'm not, this isn't like a match. This is. So um, you win money? You win? No, this isn't a match. Oh. I think you were confused. This is like just, like, it's a, a, a session or a class that we host here. Yeah. Where it's all, like, good people. And it's competitive. Like, you try uh -huh. to win. Uh -huh. But there's no, like, ranking system or, like, this is more oh. like. Yeah, it's just like a session. Oh. <laughs> like 10 minutes left and he ended up limping so hopefully he just like got a cramp and you didn't hurt yourself i know i may have torn my calf but oh great that sounds no, lovely I'm, I'm hoping it's a cramp yeah but it's really hard to walk on it right now yeah he was like limping i offered to drive by the way i was like let me drive let me drive let me drive and he was like no i'm already sitting here i'm comfy hey i'm okay enough to drive if i wasn't good enough to drive i would tell you you should but drive my car just i also love driving a car and i love driving at night it's like top three favorite mm. things to do so I really hope you're not hurt. That would freaking suck. No, I think it's a cramp. I think that's what it is. Or you just jumped on it wrong. Well, that would be if I jumped on it wrong. That would probably be a tear. But I don't think I did. I like there was a ball and I was trying to run to, so I was in my spot. So I like just took off on my first leg and I just felt like a pop. And I was like, oh. oh. But then I was like, oh, whatever. So I took another step and then I like stumbled and, and like, then you're like oh. <laughs> Not, not, I don't know, whatever. Well, I'm proud I didn't lose it all tonight. Yeah, good for your go. job. You did awesome. But 1,500 calories burned later. My Apple Watch. Seriously? 1,500? Yeah, 15. You're going to get notifications. Look, new exercise record I just got on my Apple yeah, Watch. Yeah, I mean, we got there. Like, you started at like 8. I stopped. I got hurt 10 minutes before it ended. So, so I played for an hour 50 minutes. Wow. Almost two hours of running, constant running. Anyways, on that note, you guys, we're just going to head home and chill for the rest of the night. It's already 10.30, so I'm going to end this vlog here. Today's on vacation shout out goes to Kyle and Sammy. Thank you so much for watching. You said that I inspire you and you inspire me. I love you. Thanks guys. We love you. Thank you so much for being a part of the notification squad. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, comment down below letting me know you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.